Do it back in the shed today. Big 80. Plan with it is I'm gonna try and repaint it myself. I've done a little bit of painting and I've messed around on the bull bar, the rear bar, the cruiser tray and stuff with the two pack paints. So we're gonna start stripping decals and getting body prepped and stuff so we can get it all ready to sort of have it and maybe try and paint it just over a weekend, hopefully. Someone had weather shields on here once upon a time. We get all that off. Little ding in the door. We'll try and see if we can pull it out a little bit. Better take the flares off. We're gonna get new ones because some of them are damaged. Um, these trims, I've already taken this one off. Came off pretty easy. Gotta get all the glue off there. That one, we'll continue wrapping around. This one here, a little bit of rust. So we gotta treat that, we gotta sand it all back. Treat the metal, epoxy prime, because it's bare metal. Um, rear door, same thing. Couple tiny little dings. They'll probably just get a little bit of body filler in it. Get that one off, these off. Rebar and everything will come off once I'm sort of ready. That's easy to get off. There's no real prep work behind that. Um, ding in here. Also with a bit of rust. That one, same thing guards on this side, Zam. more weather shield stuff there that's got to come off. Um, there's a ding on the rear passenger door there. And then pretty much the bonnet, just got to go over the bonnet, make sure everything's all filled in, give it a good sand. First lots of trims come off on this side. Just pop them off. No, rust, it's just dirt and clay at the moment. This honey is all dirt and clay as well. But from what it looks like, it's just um, surface rust. But we'll have to, probably about yay big, we'll sand right back to the panel, back to bare metal. So I just did that. It only took me a minute or two to get this corner back here. And you can see it's starting to get back to just bare metal. So the rust hasn't rusted through. I only use just a small bit of sandpaper with my finger in here. So we're just removing the flares at the moment. We took the rear one off. And then this one here, on the inside you can take the panel off. You can probably see the other panel on the other side. And it's just got two bolts. Once you pop them, it comes out easy. So to remove the flares, the front flares on the 80 series. These lights here, there's a screw there and two screws here for that cover. All you want to do is take them out, take that out and just give it a soft little push and they'll come off. Then you can actually get up inside the guard here and there's a couple of little um, bolts that you just got to take off and when you take them off, it should just pop straight out. There's one, there's also a screw there and a screw down the back corner here, just there. And then it just pops off, pops off nice and easily. So I've already undone the ones on the inside. I'll take those two out to show you how easy they come off. And that's it, I've become. So as you can see, got the snorkel out now. A little bit of a prick to get out, but not too bad. All the flares are off, snorkels off. I'll take the mirrors off. Probably pop them out. And then it's pretty much gonna to get to sanding and bogging, really. Oh, I'm just pretty much doing a closed door respray. I'm not gonna bother doing the insides. Um, yes, I know they're gonna be probably a different color, but hey, don't care. At least the outside looks good. So we got the entire front end pretty much off. Full bar grills, around the lights, lights on the front, just leaving the headlights on because we're not actually gonna be painting there anyway. We'll do mirrors now, I reckon. And then we might roll it back out. Well, we'll probably take rebar off then, roll it back out and give it another wash just to get rid of all the dirt and dust and crap that's in there. I've been putting my bolts in sandwich bags or putting them back where they came out of, so these ones here and these are just for my front grill there's just like a little black strip that runs here 
So I was just putting them back in there as I was sort of going, just so that way when I go to put it back together, I know where they all go. So I've just gone and popped all of these off, which are, I'll show you where it's from. As you can see, I've taken them off, which is gonna give me a nice edge to sort of paint to. And if I just drop some tape down in there, tape the window up. Um, done the one on the back and on the other side I've popped this panel off already. I'm about to pop this panel off. Same thing, just nice easy edges, less taping to be honest, to make it a lot easier. And then Gemma's just on the other side, just scratching all the glue off, which people are probably gonna hate the sound of this because <laughs> who wants to scratch paint? Yeah. But it will look nice once it's all set. Yeah. So I'm I gotta send the whole car anyway, so so we got that decal off, got the rear wiper off. That one will stay because it's, that's the key barrel. Can't be bothered to mess around with it. So I'll just tape around that one nicely. Same with the wet washer at the top. I'm gonna take the bonnet off in a minute. Front wipers are gone. And then I'll take this panel out here. So then it gives me a nice edge to paint to. It would be heaps easier to paint to it separately rather than on the car. Hello! <laughs> so I'm just using a pad in here to get these real tight radiuses. And then yeah, we're just starting to sand it all back and get it all back as nice and smooth as possible. Sandy takes a while, but as everyone says, painting is in the prep work. So if you do the prep work correctly, you can see how much of it I've stripped off here. She'll get a good wash after this. Just sanding the roof now. Just using a little bit more of an aggressive one. Um, the bonnet and the roof was the worst. So like even though I've done the bonnet here, there's still some patches it didn't want to get into. So I've just got a bit of 120 on my hand. And then the roof, I'll run a 240 over it. <coughs> and see how it goes. As you can see, I've been through quite a few pads. I brought 30, 40 pads for what it's worth. You're better off changing the pad biting into the paint correctly rather than doing being cheap on pads they're like eight bucks or ten bucks or something i can't even remember how much they were but they're rather cheap better off going through them and then yeah i think we're ready to roll this out wash this i've got the flares i've got to sand which won't take long and that's about it i've also sanded the door handles just so you know with chrome you want to get them scuffed back so they're not shiny anymore if you leave them shiny paint won't stick to it um so you've got to scuff them right back until they're pretty much dull um like a matte finish in a way and then i've also got to do my grill because i'm going to paint the grill to go with it and murder and everything got a couple of little trims here as well i've got probably another couple of hours good couple of hours easily out here just sanding back making sure everything's ready, full paint. So we'll get into it, eh? Set this high pressure washer up. We'll give her a real good clean. I'll put the turbo head on it and um, yeah, get all of this dust and stuff off let it drip dry out here and then i'll sand all the accessories just by hand inside and then do the same for them so i've just hit this area with the turbo head and you can see that where the paint has chipped from all the rusty bits that are sitting under there there was a little patch of rust here but you can see how much bigger it is so i'll keep hitting it with the sander i might just sand this whole rear quarter back just so I get to that area correctly. So 
So we're now sanding back all the tiny little pieces. These are a windscreen wiper blade. I'll get new ones of these, complete units. If not, I'll sand them back later and paint them. But as for these bits, we'll do them. Flares, just sort of give them all a good little sand. As you can see, we got most of the surface rust off. The big ones like this, this is the front. You can see it's got a couple scuff marks in it. It's not broken, but I'll sand that back, party that just a little bit. They're not deep, they're maybe two mil deep, if that. These rubber trims have obviously been on there since day one. I'm just cutting them off. And the good thing about sanding all this back too, sort of just prepping the area around it, so it bonds a bit better to it. And this one here is the one, the other one with the crack. So as you can see, so if I run my finger over that at the moment, I'm getting caught. What I'll do is I'll sand it back so it's nice and smooth. So now, that's all nice and smooth. It's a slight V in, but we can bring it back to the level surface. We took it out, gave it a real good wash. I wiped my hand on it, nothing. So she's nice and clean of all the dust that was on it anyway. We've just chucked little patches of bog just in tiny little divots. That was the badish one. It needs to be sanded. A couple little ones on the back door. Another one there. A couple here. Someone obviously had a toe ball on it. The biggest and the worst one was this one down here. And small one there. Just a couple little things, but yeah, we're just going through a couple stone chips on the bonnet. That we've just gone and chucked a little bit of bog in and we'll give them all a nice good sand back. We went and brought some primer, some tapes, um, some thinners, brought some drop sheet stuff. So hopefully once we get this sanded back we can start taping it all up, get it all taped up. I'll get me paint tomorrow or Friday so it's Wednesday. I'm thinking if it's Wednesday tape. I'm still going with Friday, probably Saturday maybe, throwing a primer out and a paint either late Saturday afternoon or Sunday. We'll paint and clear, is my plan. So we got the car all prepped and taped up now. So what I did, just an FYI for you, I taped around the window first. And then, so what I did is I overhung the tape a little bit. And I ran a knife blade just behind the rubber and sort of let it get that nice little edge to it. Then I've taped plastic to my tape that was around the entire windows first. Got a little bit down here just over my exhaust. I just gotta tape these here. A little bit just there to cover the chassis rear window. I'm just going through now, just sanding back my patches. I've just picked the paint up uh, about an hour ago. Very, very spicy color. So we've gone and glued our decals back on we're using the original ones because toyota you can't actually get them anymore they're discontinued the only ones you can get are driver's doors discontinued the front quarter panel rear quarter panel rear door so sort of got to run with what we've got there so i've glued them on i'm going to scuff them back a little bit too paint them as you can see we're all still taped up just got to sand this tiny bit here i uh, just hung up all my flares Hung me flares up, light, grill, all that sort of stuff. We might go run an etch prime over the chromey bits just so it bites to it. And then when I hopefully get back this afternoon, I might be able to throw a primer out. Hopefully, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, this should sort of set pretty good. It's a nice warm day. As for my flares and all that, I've just used welding wire. Got some 1.2 or 1.3 mil. I've just made like a coat hanger and then just hung everything from it at a set height. Um, so it's nice and easy just to spray, you know, chest height. Let's see. 
see what we can see. Oops. Looks pretty black. But in the sun, different color. First clear coat's down. Little tiny bit of orange peely, but for me it's gonna be a bush pig anyway. I just needed a, a new paint, but woo. see if you can pick up the color. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh unreal. That is sick. Looks black in the shade and then um hits a little bit of sun. That's a nice looking color. And then I've pretty much blacked it out. I've done door handles, um, the flares are the same, front grill's the same, everything's the same. Like door handles are now black. Keep laying these clear coats out and come back to it. That is so nice. It looks so good on you. So I've moved it back into the garage now. We've done a couple coats outside. Everyone will say you're not meant to because you're not meant to be airborne, you're not meant to get dust inside of it. I don't have a boot, so I'm doing what I need to do. It was actually pretty good weather. There's slight breeze coming now, so there's little bugs and stuff floating around. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Like on the bonnet here, a little tiny bug. I've just got a set of tweezers and I'm just pick him off. So I'm gonna pick a couple bugs out and then I'll run through this. I've done two clears. I'm gonna do three, maybe four. I'll pretty much keep going, I've got 5 litres of it, so it looks a hell of a lot better than it did and it's a very, very, very good colour, I love it, I'm actually really happy with it. I don't know if I've said, when I got paint mixed up, I had a code, I put 222 in by accident, it was meant to be 223, um, give me a second, it was meant to be, it was meant to be 223, um, rather than 222, there you go, go sit inside. Watch out, don't touch a cup, good boy. Um, then they showed me the colour out of the tin. I went, you know what, I like it, I'll do it. And I'm glad I did, because it's actually a really good colour. Even the white, because the 70 is meant to be next, to match. And um, when she seen it in the tin, she was like, no. Nah. Now that she's seen it on the car, she's like, maybe we can match. Maybe we can. Also, Paint mask. Wear a paint mask with 2K, it's apparently not too good for you. So I'm just pulling my tape off. It's been, oh, what, 15 minutes since I did my last coat. After about 15, 20 minutes, start pulling your tape back just so it doesn't create a full chemical seal between the two. And um, if you come here, you'll you'll get a line, an idea on this, like... It's coming off easy. It's coming off easy, it's not pulling the paint, which is the best bit. But, oh. We're back. We're out here this morning, I'm gonna start putting the car back together. I'm gonna get all my little pieces, put them back on, rebar, bull bar. Yeah. Put all the flares back on, the mirrors back on, the indicators, all the little trims that I painted. Overall, Came out pretty good. That's pretty shiny. And I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see the color. Look at that. Super happy with it. Super, super happy with it. Just gotta give it a good clean up and stuff and get the windows tinted. Once I get the windows tinted, she's gonna be a different car. It's gonna be full black. I got the rear bar back on. So we finally got the car back out into the bush. As you can see, our beautiful little view out here. That will be a wrap to the painting video. It was a good little learning experience, to be honest. Um, for the primer, I used a high build 2K primer. Um, once I primed it, I let that set overnight, gave it a bit of a sand back in between. All the paint brands, I'm pretty sure it's called Baz Bazlac, I think. So I got that, then I had the black purple that I've got which you would have seen, and then the 2K clear through them. Um, recommendations for everyone, if you're gonna do it, make sure you get good automotive tape. Tape everything up heaps beforehand. I had a week to sort of do it, a week plus a weekend, so I prepped everything during the week, taped everything, 
and then paint it on the weekend. So it gave me two days to do it. I knew I had good weather coming. I found the best temperature was about 30 degrees. It actually set the paint pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it set the paint pretty quickly, which was good, but not too quick where it was too hard to paint. On the instruction sheet, if wherever you buy your things from, just ask them for the technical sheet. So it gives you everything you need for it. it tells you what sort of pressure you should be spraying it at. Um, what sort of gun, nozzle, everything that you need to know. So do your research into it first, but get yourself a half decent gun. I've only got a 50 liter generator, uh, air compressor, 50 liter air compressor, three horsepower. And I had a gauge on the bottom of my gun that controlled the pressure of how much I was spraying in and out. And do a bit of fiddling around with your gun. So if you play around with your gun, work out on the side you've got your fan opening and closing if you adjust that a little bit it can also give you better pressure to suit the painting which i've now learnt. i mean it's not the greatest amazing show car job but hey it's a pretty good looking job i'm pretty happy with it myself so yep don't forget like subscribe comment any questions ask me if you head over to instagram follow my instagram mine and my wife's uh, gem 79 grouse you'll see it at the end of this we're always putting everything up there first and same thing little bits and pieces and tips and stuff here and there so yeah head over to there if you need to message me ask me questions i'm always happy to answer everyone's questions forgot to mention with the painting side of things costing so i used four liters of paint used about three of clear coat I don't know why, but the clear went further. I done three or four coats of clear and it went that little bit further. Primer, I used probably two liters, not much primer, the biggest thing. Cost wise, paint, primer, clear coat cost me, and then all the little bits and pieces. I think it was about 1200 bucks, give or take a little bit. So let's just say 1500, 1500, and that's what it cost me sort of for everything to paint the car. Um, so yeah, if that gives you a good indication, it was reasonably cheap. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.